Hello, welcome to another video about an LSX Engines Tuning and Marine. This engine is a Mercruiser 3 liter four cylinder engine. And um, in the past, I've done a video on how to adjust the valves. And um, in that video, I've discussed uh, setting the uh, harmonic balancer to uh, top dead center, which would be like there's a little notch on this wheel and you line it up with zero right there. And this one is currently lined up. There's a notch right there. So right now it's lined up on zero. The firing order is one, three, four, two. So one, three, so four and one are the op opposing cylinders in this engine. When one is firing, four is transitioning from intake to exhaust or exhaust to intake and vice versa. So having said that, um, right now I've got, I know that when I was turning this engine, I saw this, this lifter moving as I was coming up on top dead center. So I know that that means that number one is on its transition stroke. So it's transitioning from exhaust to intake. That means number four is on the firing stroke. So in the previous methodology, you set it the top dead center number one, and you can just uh, the valves on one and two, and then a few. I don't remember. What, I don't even remember what the numbers are because I, I don't I don't memorize it. I have a different method. And that's what I'm about to tell you about. So the method, the old method requires you look in the book and find out what, what values you, you, I know you can do one and two and then some others and it's in the book and it'll tell you what it is. It's also my video, which I'll link to the bottom of this video. However, for me personally, I found it easier to just do it this way. So I know that number one right now is, right, is transitioning and number four is on top dead center. So when, a, when it enters the top dead center on the firing truck, you can adjust both valves because they're supposed to be closed. They're, the cam is designed to leave those valves closed for it to fire. So you, right now on top dead center, number four, you can adjust these two valves. So since the firing order is one, uh, three, four, two, two follows four. So all you have to do is you can do two next, which will be these two here. Let me back up so you can see all of them. There's one, there's two. So if you rotate this engine, in this particular case, if you rotate this engine, um, 180 degrees so the notch is right here if i look down through the, this crankshaft where this notch is somewhere right down here if i move that notch to right there that's 180 degrees i can then adjust number two and then i can move it when you move from 180 degrees back up again 180 degrees you'll, you'll have the notch back on zero and you'll be back at top dead center number one so you can do four then you can do two then you can do number one so basically the concept is you follow the firing order around, you, you chase the firing order, and it, as each cylinder is at top dead center, you can adjust both of those valves on that cylinder. So like I said, I would do four, then I would do two, then I would do one, then rotate another 180 degrees, and then you can do three. So um, to me, it's a lot easier to do that because I don't have to memorize any numbers. I just, I just know, other than the firing order, I have to memorize the firing order. It's one, one, three, four, two. So if you know the firing order, and you know, for example, on a, if this is a V8, you would, you instead of rotating the, the notch 180 degrees, you only, you'd rotate it 90 degrees. Now, the, the nice thing about doing it this way is I say rotate it 90 degrees. Well, you've technically got, you have a, 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 a window of, of error, 45 degrees to either side of that 90 degree point, because the piston is, what, what's going on is the piston is down as the piston's coming up, it's compressing. So that, that exhaust valve is closed the entire time that piston is moving up. And then likewise, the, um, the intake valve is also moving, uh, the, it's also closed the entire time that valve is moving down, most of the way anyway. So at least, for at least, um, let's see, um, 180 degrees on each cylinder, your valves are gonna be closed on that cylinder. So. That, that gives you a pretty big window of error where you don't have to have it right on 90 or 45, or not 45, 90 or 180. Now, if this is a V6, you would rotate it 120, not 90. So for a four cylinder, you rotate it 180. For a V6, you'd rotate it 120. And for a V8, you rotate it 90. But the, the point is you chase the firing one around and you tighten the two cylinders that are at top dead center on the firing stroke. You can always do that because those, those valves are definitely gonna be closed at that time. And that's how I've been doing it my entire life. I, I've never followed, the only reason in the last video I followed that, that procedure because it was in the service manual. And I was just trying to teach people how to do it based on the service manual. 
But I've done it this way my whole life. I just rotate the engine uh, to each cylinder as it top gets in on the firing stroke, adjust those two valves, and move on to the next cylinder. For example, if it's a Chevrolet, small, small block Chevrolet, like that one, um, the firing order is 18436572. I've had that memorized since I was a kid. So, um, like I say, you just chase the firing order around, and then on a V8, you go 90 degrees at a time with the Harmonic Bouncer. And you don't have to be right on 90, you can be plus or minus 45, and you're good. And you can adjust every valve that way without memorizing any kind of, uh, well, other than the firing order, memorizing any kind of valve sequence of which ones to do. That's how I do it. That's how I prefer to do it. I think it's faster, personally. So, um, just wanted to share that information and a uh, little tip on how I do things, and uh, hope it was helpful. Also, one other thing I wanted to mention is um, when you first put the valve train together and you're adjusting valves, leave this cover off because until the valves are tightened you can't you can't look up here and tell which valves are moving around moving up and down because you haven't adjusted them yet and you need to know in order to set on my on my procedure you need to know in order to set the the, the uh, cylinder on top dead center on the fire stroke see and you need to see the valves moving but if you can't if you don't have the valves adjusted you can't see the valves moving but you can see these lifters moving up and down these lifters are following the cam and even if the valve's not tight these lifters will move up and down so that's how you can tell uh, which ones are move which ones are supposed to be moving, and which ones aren't. These two could be totally loose, but those two lifters right there will be moving up and down as you turn the engine. So that, that's what I do. I use the lifters to tell me what's going on or which, which ones are moving. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel, and good night.